Welcome to CSL TV. <clears throat> and I just hope you guys are having a beautiful, blessed day. Now, we're about to get into some tragic news that happened at Disneyland. Uh, also, another team shooting. But before I get into that content, shout out to John over at Notice News and those beautiful folks that also let me use the content that I bring to you guys. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel because it's free and you'll be helping me out as well as a like and comment down below what made you watch CSL TV. I use the feedback because it helped me bring you guys, you know what I'm saying, content many different ways. And it's just a review reaction channel as well as information channel now. I don't want to hold you guys up too much, so let's get to it. Mm. This story out of New York City is terrifying. It all went down in the Bronx on Tuesday night. These two guys are walking down the street, and moments later, they hide behind a car. When a pair of teen brothers begin to make their way down the sidewalk, the two guys spring out from behind the car and open fire. The teen brothers run off, but they're shot at as they make their way up the sidewalk. A 14-year-old boy was killed in the ambush, while his 15-year-old brother was left unharmed. Surveillance video captured the two gunmen running away from the scene soon after, each wearing face masks and hoodies, and media report this may have been a targeted hit related to a drill rap video feud. An epidemic of gun violence continues to rock the United States, and in 2020, firearms outpaced car crashes and suicide as the leading cause of death in children, according to data from the CDC. Police released this surveillance footage in hopes of finding the two alleged shooters, but so far, nobody's been arrested. Oh, nonsense strike again. Nonsense strike again. 14, 15 year olds shooting and killing each other over some damn rap video. A rap video. A music video. A song. A rap song. Y'all killing each other and fucking y'all lives up over a fucking song. When they say Sticks and stone may break my bones, but words will never hurt me. In today's world, that's a goddamn lie. Because these soft ass folks nowadays, you say something, they feelings get hurt. They fucking goddamn wanna take you and your whole family out. They on some other shit about, oh, well, this and this, we about to bang on you. Like, come on, man, that's not what life is all about. And I feel bad for some of these kids um, who grew up in those households that's not showing enough love. This story out of Pennsylvania is terrifying. It all went down at this store in South Philly. According to police, this guy inside the market is stalking two other people inside the store. After those two people leave, the stalker puts on a face mask and follows them outside. That's when things get ugly. The stalker first beats one of the people, leaving them totally disoriented, and moments later, he runs over to the second person, throws them on the ground, and stomps them on their head until they pass out. The stalker robs the person he just knocked out, then runs back over to the first person he attacked, and robs them too. This all went down a few weeks ago, but we're just seeing this footage now. The person who owns the convenience store says the victims were regular customers, but he'd never seen the stalker before. Cops released this footage in hopes of catching the stalker, and on Friday, police say that the FBI's Violent Crime Task Force arrested the guy in Baltimore and are bringing him back to Philly to face charges. Huh? Lost another one, and he looked young as fuck too. That's sad, man. Another guy gone. Lost his life. And he gonna get um, charged with attempted murder and all that shit for the simple fact he stumped them motherfuckers out. And then he stalked them. 
So it's not like he know exactly who the fuck they was. He he was just on some robbing and thieving shit. And how the fuck you gonna have one of them expensive ass Amiri shirts on and out here robbing motherfuckers from a corner store? Like, that don't even make sense, my man. So let this be uh, an eye opener for a lot of y'all. As the holiday seasons approach, y'all already know how this shit go. With everything going up high, hey, you gotta watch everybody, you know. Because you never know what the hell could be going on. And someone like, and now your ass is a target for no goddamn reason.